Hi folks and welcome to the first episode in my new YouTube series where I'm exploring Ireland's mountain passes. Indeed, I'll be travelling the roads, well, less travelled. So if you fancy coming along for the ride, hop on the back and we'll go for a spin. And we'll get the gloves on, ready to ride the first mountain pass of this series. So welcome on board folks. This is the beginning of Glen Gesh Pass. I'm just going to shut the visor because then you might be able to hear me a little bit better. Glen Gesh Pass means Glen of the Swans. Haven't seen any swans yet so I'd love to know where that comes from. I do know one thing though, it looks like I've picked the perfect day to start this series. And the perfect time of day, I love the contrast on the um, valleys when you see over there the valley on the left has got beautiful contrast and shadows and the valley on the right is just beautifully lit up. A lot of forestry going on up there. Weird looking trees, looks like um, Canadian pine or something like that. God, can you imagine living there? That is remote. Imagine that in the window, folks. Now, all I know about Glengesh Pass is that it is a glacial valley. So, it's old. <laughs> I love riding through this county. This is County Donegal, of course. We're deep inside County Donegal in Ireland. And every time I come up here, I leave telling myself I must come back here more often. The scenery never ever stops to surprise me. It, it, it literally is breathtaking and that's why I wanted to kick off this series with this particular pass. I've never ridden this pass before. Now this is, uh, this is really Irish. Mother Mary bless her and all who've gone before her. I hope that isn't a sign of uh, things to come on this pass. Okay, we're starting to climb. Hang on guys, you know that bit where you go up to the top of the thing on the roller coaster really slowly <laughs> and then you get catapulted at the top, it feels like that, it feels like I'm climbing to the top and I can feel the anxiety building inside me because I'm not sure what I'm going to meet. There are beautiful little streams, actually there is still frost on the grass down here. Okay, and right, stop looking at the scenery so much, Dave. We're into some serious turns here. Wow. And we're climbing high. I'm on the clutch quite a bit here, and I'm in first gear. This really is spectacular. I don't know how wide the, the roads look on the camera. They're not that wide. <laughs> I'll be breathing in at some stages if there's a car coming towards me. Oh wow, look at this! This is very barren. Wow. You see the tufts of grass there on the right? You can see that it's been very weathered. You can imagine the wind the rain and the winter which must happen up here. Look at this, you can see for miles. Look at the mountains in the distance as well. Like being on a lunar landscape. Not that I've been to the moon of course. But my wife would claim quite often that I live on a different planet anyway. 
Okay, let's get the camera out. Have to get a shot of the bike here. Now I'll take the camera bag away and close the back box. Wow, that's unbelievable, that view. It's really gorgeous. Look at that, you couldn't paint that, folks. Right. Actually, I do know what I'm talking about, because it is a, a glacier. So 20,000 years ago, a massive ice sheet covered most of Ireland. A glacier moved down the valley, carrying rocks and debris. Glengesh River continues this age-old process of carving the landscape. There you go. The name Glengesh is as old as the legends of the Irish heroes. For the warrior's protection, the Gesh, or Gesh, a form of taboo, forbid certain actions. Breaking it led to dishonour or death. Sometimes the hero was placed under conflicting Gyrsa. Cúchulain, one of Ireland's greatest legendary heroes, was under one gish never to eat the flesh of a dog and on another always to accept hospitality. When an old woman offered him a meal containing dog meat, he chose to eat the food. Breaking the gish led to his death. Okay. There you go, folks. The moral of that story is uh, never eat your dog. I wonder who lives in a place like this. Is it retired people? Is it farmers? Is it young people? Is it old people? I haven't seen anybody yet, apart from driving past them in a car. Look at this, the old uh, bags of turf there. <laughs> so this is all bog land, I'd say. Probably not the first batch of turf we'll see on this little journey through Glengesh Pass. I'd say it didn't look too different a couple of million years ago, in fairness. Apart from the odd uh, cottage <laughs> dotted around now. This really is a throwback in time. I'm just soaking this up. This. I don't know, this is my sort of happy place, my happy riding spiritual place, I suppose. The spirit of motorcycling, definitely, riding through scenery like this. This is what I love about motorcycle riding. I don't want to be racing on a motorway against other traffic or anything like that. Just put me by myself in the countryside, preferably here up in Donegal. <laughs> If me mother could see me now. One of the little poems I learned when I moved over to Ireland, taught to me by a colleague I, uh, I met 20 years ago, lovely Irish fella. And uh, I'll never forget it, because everybody was quite shocked at my sudden departure from England over to Ireland. And he taught me this poem, which is a famous Irish verse, and uh, it goes like this. Oh mother dear, I'm over here and I won't be coming back. What keeps me here is the pints of beer, the women and the crack. Pretty much summed up my move over to Ireland 20 years ago. And I've never regretted one minute of it. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I certainly did. And what a spectacular day to do it. That was that was biblical, actually, if I'm honest. It's cleansed me, refreshed me. I just I feel like a, a happier person riding home now. I'm a sort of happy person anyway, but that just sort of cleans out all the bad and restores the good, if you know what I mean. Those of you who ride motorbikes and enjoy the scenery and the countryside as much as I do, you'll know exactly what I mean. I find it difficult to put into words, if I'm honest. 
so that's why really in this series I thought of like the pictures to do the talking thanks for tuning in I'm Dave Perry Wheelie Good TV over and out